Hey everyone, Dan from On One here. I'm really excited to tell you about kind of a bonus release for On One Photo Raw, and that's the new On One Photo Raw 2018.5.2 update. Now, it's a small patch release. It's available for all users of Photo Raw 2018, and it's a recommended update. Let me talk about some of the cool things that we've added to it. Now, it's more than just a patch release or more than just an update release. We've actually snuck in a couple cool things in here. The first thing I want to show you are some new tools for the transform pane inside of Develop. So inside of Develop, when you click on the Show More button and you add the Transform pane, you'll note that there's a series of new tools right here at the top. There's the Keystone tool for correcting perspective, a leveling tool, and a move tool. Let me show you how to use these guys together to correct perspective. When you click on the Keystone tool, you'll see a box appear on your screen. Then what you want to do is adjust each corner of the box to something that should be rectilinear in your photo. So I'm just going to adjust it to four points that I know are supposed to all be parallel to each other here. When you get them all lined up, just hit the apply button. This will automatically take both sides of that and move them parallel to each other, correcting for horizontal and vertical distortion for you automatically. You can then use the leveling tool to level the photo. So drag it across the line that you know is supposed to be level. That will help rotate the photo to make it level. And then the move tool will let you move the photo around within the canvas. This is handy if you use the scale slider to increase the magnification of the photo, you can then grab the move slider to move it around within the photo, which is something that's pretty common to do when you want to remove those transparent areas when you make a large perspective adjustment. There you go. Those new tools in the transform pane work hand in hand with all of the other new sliders and options we added to transform in 2018.5. The next area that we worked on was performance. Now in 2018.5, what we did is we reworked the entire previewing system in order to make it faster on Windows computers. Unfortunately, as part of that, we found a couple cases where on some Mac hardware, it actually got a little bit slower. So we've gone back and we've retrofitted the Mac side to make sure it's just as fast as the Windows side. You'll see this when you move sliders like the exposure slider inside of develop, how it is now 100% smooth and the slider doesn't stick at all. So very fast to make these types of adjustments. You'll also notice it when you're using tools like the brushes. So if I was to use the local adjustment tool set to darken and I wanted to paint it on my sky, moving that brush is fast and fluid at all zoom levels now. So a much better brushing experience no matter which platform you work on. Under the hood, we've also made some performance improvements to the dynamic contrast filter and the HDR look filter inside of effects to make those faster to adjust, faster to paint, and faster when you export. We've also added hot pixel suppression for Fuji x trend sensors. So when you're photographing with a modern Fuji camera at really high ISOs or very long exposures, we can filter out that noisy dots for you automatically. And we've also improved color fringe removal across the board as well. So when you get purple or green fringing around the edges on your photos when using wide angle lenses, the removal is even stronger than it used to be. Plus there's a ton more other defects that we've fixed that have been reported by customers from the field. So again, the 2018.5.2 update is free to anybody with Photo Raw 2018 and is a highly recommended update. Download it today and thanks for being a loyal on one customer.